So as early as 1000 BC, there was a Sanskrit astronomical text. Remember, this is not astrology. The first astrological text in India was sayings of the Greeks, 270 AD. But the oldest Sanskrit astronomical text dates to 1000 BC. That's a long time ago, guys. It's called the Surya Siddhanta. I can't pronounce these right. I need my, my friends, the Krimis here, because, you know, they'll tell me, especially Chris. Chris Krimi's going to give me the business. She's going to tell me how to pronounce all these things. Fun, funny story about the Krimis. Let, let me tell you something really quick. Here's another thing that's gotten under my skin recently. The Krimis would probably tell me it's pronounced Surya Shidhanta. Because in Irish, the S-I-D-H is also she. Sur Surya Shidhanta. This ancient text from 1000 BC, there's not a hint of the Zodiac. Nothing. This is ancient India, Sanskrit, all about the stars and astronomy. It's a textbook in Sanskrit, and there's nothing about the Zodiac in it. It's crazy, guys. So let me get to the Krimis real quick. So th there's this guy. I don't know anything about him, but he's attacked me so vehemently over and over and over. And finally, I have to ask, hey, man, who is this guy? What's his problem with me? I don't understand. And several people that were in his community jumped ship, and they came to Archaics, and they no longer pay 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 him and all that and i found out i said well what's going on I said, well i mean you, you got you pay him 800 900 dollars and he takes you to this place way out in kerrville you can watch the stars and he's an astrologer and he took i said oh okay one of those guys all right so what's his deal with me why is he so pissed off at me he said well he's, he says you stole the phoenix from me do you guys realize how stupid that sounds an astrologer who's basically grifting people for a lot of money is mad at Jason of Archaics because I stole the phoenix from him. That's just moronic. It's moronic. The phoenix has been around for about 35 centuries in, in the literature. And the version that I bring to the table is the most ancient, that phoenix was a symbol for a cycle, was not a bird. Anyway, Robert Phoenix has now changed his name. I heard he's not going by Robert Phoenix no more. I don't know what he's going by. He can go, he can go by Robert Fakery for all I care because what he did offended me. Attacking me, I don't care. I've got trolls everywhere. But when I went to Asheville, I was taken in by the Krimis and they gave me a place to stay. And I said, you know what? I appreciate it. I have a hotel over here. I appreciate it. But thank you for taking my friends in. You didn't have to do that. But I'm going to go ahead and stay at the hotel. I've already paid for it. And... They said, well, come on over anytime. So I took them up on that and I said, hey, check it out. You guys live in a beautiful place. I like the, I love the atmosphere here. I met Freeman Fry at their house. I met a lot of other YouTubers at their house. I didn't know these people had been to India and lived with the yogis and done all that. Yeah. So they're, they're authors. I have their books. I'm reading one right now. They, they've written books independently. And they've written books together. And everybody knows them as the Krimis. They have a beautiful place in Asheville, North Carolina. And they were a part of Robert's group, and they were doing weekly shows with Robert Phoenix. And one day, I just said, hey, would you like? Would you guys mind if I did a live show right here? I did a live show <coughs> in their sunroom, and they were there, and they participated, and I turned the camera and let them talk. When Robert Phoenix found out that the Krimis were on Archaics, because you guys have seen them, many of you have seen them in my, on, on my channel, two older people, beautiful souls. As soon as he found out, he dropped them like a bad habit. No more weekly shows with the Krimis. To me, that's pedantic. To me, you exposed your soul, what you really are. You're a grifter. Yeah, man. Anybody, anybody see Robert Phoenix out there, watch out, because he's trying to dig in your wallet. I don't care what anybody says. Yeah, man. All right. Yeah, Sherry Lives, you can go and get that, you can get that troll out of the uh get the yeah, one of my moderators, go ahead and block that person, Sherry Lo Sherry Ives. Get him out of my chat. Yeah. You're not gonna accuse the Krimis of stealing information from others. I ain't trying to hear that. All you all, all you Robert Phoenix trolls, you're not gonna make it here. You're not gonna make it here. He's just one. He's just one though. He's just one individual 
that, that is set his sights on me. It's, well, it's, it's ridiculous. It's very childish. And let's get through this presentation. Because by the time I'm done with this presentation, any reasonably intelligent trier of fact will understand that the whole astrology zodiac deal is a house of cards. And I'll explain that in a minute. It has nothing to do with the system. Everything always has everything to do with the individual.